reboot age now. Terminator Genesis was a failed reboot. It came and went two years ago. People disliked it. I thought it was okay. Believe it or not, there's another reboot planned. Tim Miller is directed and James Cameron is producing. Since he's involved, this reboot actually has the potential to be good. This movie is supposed to start filming in March of next year. It's a direct sequel to Terminator 2. It will ignore the other sequels, like how Superman Returns ignored Superman 3 and 4. Yes, Arnold Schwarzenegger is back. However, he's done playing the Terminator. I don't think anybody wants to see a 70-year-old guy playing a cyborg. It's silly. He's playing the human who inspired the cyborgs. I'm calling it now. He's a war veteran. He fought in numerous places like Iraq and Afghanistan. Maybe he's a security specialist due to his old age. And yeah, he was overseas during the events of the first two movies. And I'm guessing in this movie, he and Sarah meet by chance. Has anyone heard of the T2 Trilogy book series? It came out in the early 2000s. I only read the first book. It came out in 2001, so I was 12. It was decent, I suppose. I got rid of it. Sarah and John were living in Paraguay. They get a new neighbor, Dieter Rosbach, an Austrian guy, ex-Special Forces, and yes, he inspired the Terminators. Two days ago, they announced Linda Hamilton is back as Sarah Connor. I was surprised. I know she reprised her role in Salvation, but that was just voiceovers. I guess she was broke. I'm sure she signed onto this reboot in a heartbeat because she's stuck doing Lifetime movies. James Cameron stated, Some 50-year-old, 60-year-old guys are known for kicking ass, but not a lot of women. Surprisingly, Linda already started training, maybe by choice because I feel now is way too early. Isn't she already fit? I guess her routine is mostly exercising, you know, sit-ups. I'm sure she'll spend many hours at the gun range. I'm curious about Sarah. What has she been up to for the last 23 years? Is she still a fugitive? Is she in South America or is she back home? Is she still paranoid about the future? I guess she is. Are she and John still close? Is she a grandmother now? John Connor should return. He's important. You could say he's the heart of this franchise. Edward Furlong signing on is, is unlikely because he's a drug addict. He's a huge risk. He's been in trouble with the law for a long time. His career and personal life are in the shitter. Allegedly in 2012, he gave his young son some cocaine. So what the fuck? If Vetti does sign on, I think John will be a minor character. His screen time will be 10 to 20 minutes. Is John a fugitive? Is he living a normal life? Is he happy? Him being a politician is extremely unlikely due to his criminal record. I can see him being a cyber criminal and a deadbeat dad. After all, he already was a cyber criminal. Him being estranged from his mother would make good storytelling. This movie will naturally introduce new characters, both in the future and the present. A young woman will be the protagonist. She could be John's daughter, but I think it'll be more interesting if she isn't a Connor. I think she will fight Skynet in the future, so Sarah will have to protect her. Like Star Wars The Force Awakens, this movie will feature the old characters passing the torch. I know it's pointless saying this. This reboot is supposed to kickstart a trilogy like the last two movies were supposed to kickstart their own trilogies. I think it's silly. However, these movies are meant to be standalone with connecting story arcs or whatever. I know I got the phrase wrong, but I don't think it matters. I can see the first two movies being standalone, but not the third movie so much. Thanks as always for watching guys, shares are appreciated, my Twitter link is down below. Let me know how you feel about Terminator 6, are you excited or burnt out? I'm excited for Kinsman the Golden Circle, I'll talk to you later, alrighty then.